Welcome back to the studio. I'm Guru Catherine, founder of Geo Blockchain and guide for your spiritual and personal journey. Today we're going to have a little fun with Pythagorean numerology, taking a look at the month of March, which is what you see here. We're going to take a look at the whole month rather than going weekly like I used to do. We're going to try this instead. See what you think. Let me know if you like this better and if you want possibly an extended version going more in depth for the different ruling numbers. Um, we can do that too. Uh, so before we get started, I am not a financial advisor. I am not a wealth manager. I am I have no expertise whatsoever except for why people do what they do and how to accelerate your personal and spiritual journey and a little bit of blockchain and smart contracts, crypto and AI and quantum. That's all. Uh, so that being said, nothing here is to be construed as financial or medical advice of any kind. That being said, let's have some fun and see what the numbers are going to tell us for the month of March 2024. Um, so overall, let's take a look at the month itself. And what I'm looking at is the chart here. So we have three, two, four, and eight. Um, so given that, this is just the month at large, and this is for everybody across all of humanity. Um, foundational things are happening. That's the four. We have balance. We have uh, divine awareness of, of information. And we have the eight, which is human energy, which translates to uh, time, money, and attention, right? These are our, our finite currencies that we deal in. Um, and so what's going on here looks like foundational things, things that are setting the foundation for the future um, in terms of time, effort, attention, money, um, and in order to bring balance. But you do get this flavor with a three in there. You do get this finger of God flavor in there, which will appear periodically throughout the month. So this is a pretty exciting month. I'm looking forward to see what in the world. <laughs> January and February did not disappoint. So what in the world are we going to get for March? So uh, let's take a look as we get into it day by day. And we'll kind of start... Uh, with and kind of flow through the days and I want to see how the patterns are changing as we flow through so we start off March with divine consciousness and control foundational things happening in the world of finance uh, time and attention right so that's social media that's news and, and, and news in the sense of where people are putting their attention, the subjects that people are putting their attention on, uh, and social media in the sense of what people are putting their attention on. So, uh, and so that one day really stands out to me as a pattern that we get periodically. And so I want to kind of save that thought. So we have divine consciousness and control and foundational things happening in the world of finance and attention, which is social media and news and things like that. And I like that there could definitely be something happening in finance and crypto on that day. What I don't see is geopolitical activity. We always kind of look there. Um, I don't see that because that's usually accompanied by a six, um, a little bit of drama. But I don't see that on March 1st. In terms of your personal life, just you personally, beyond where you put your time and attention um, and beyond what you're thinking about your money, this is a lovely day to focus on your spiritual practice. Flowing into uh, March 2nd, we get a different flavor. We still have the four of foundation and the eight, which we will all year, obviously, because 2024, um, which is an eight year overall for the whole of, of humanity. Uh, but what we have here is we have the, the row of energy here. And that's the only complete row or column that we have. So March 2nd becomes a day 
in which no particular consciousness is in control unless you are a ruling one or a ruling six and then and then you'll have a little bit more well-defined day everyone else on march 2nd is going to be focused on all things energy creating balance sense of coming into spring um it's a heavily active day march 2nd is a great day to get things done whereas march 1st you may notice that it's harder to get things done march 2nd uh, and third you're not going to have a whole lot of problem making things happen so it's very highly productive days you have the three which is divine consciousness um, awareness of information or divine information so anything that comes through today is a good idea to pay attention to it and it gives you just that little that little touch of it's not exactly inspiration but little bits of extra information that may be coming into your life that are useful and then we have the four now four can be foundation you're you're setting the foundation for your future it can also be rigidity and that interplay between rigidity and creating a foundation for the future is going to be all year long. Um, and so here we have that as well. And if you look between the second and third, although the second is a low drama day, low drama, high activity, very good, good day for meetings. The third is the exact same pattern plus drama which could be positive drama um you've got subconscious and control on the third which if you've done your shadow work <laughs> you've done that work connecting to your subconscious this could be a really good thing um this could be positive drama if you have not done your shadow work this could be your baggage coming up to say hey here we are um and uh, doing all the talking for you so so be aware of that um, if you are a ruling seven, then the second and third of March are days of manifestation for you. Manifestations coming to fruition for the ruling sevens on March 2nd and 3rd. Um, and if you are a ruling one, be aware that you will have God consciousness largely in control for the entire month. So that's really really nice so march 3rd this is a day where you could see geopolitical activity you could see drama in the financial markets um, and when it comes to you personally just be aware you could see your baggage coming up or which could also be an opportunity to work on it an opportunity to clear it out hmm. right it's not always bad when our baggage comes up maybe it's time to heal it and let it go so coming into March 4th, this is an interesting pattern. So we have the three, two, and six in the top left, and we have four, seven, eight in the bottom right. If you are a ruling five, this day gets a lot more connected and active, but also brings your subconscious into control. Um, if you're a ruling one, you have God consciousness and control, and you have the 147 so this is finger of god this is god consciousness affecting the physical world so that's why i call that the pattern of the finger of god um if you are ruling nine then uh then you've got a couple of interesting things going on you're going to have human consciousness and control and you're also going to have the row of information being being very dominant right so your human awareness of information so the ruling nines will know what's going on on march 4th um and so that's pretty great and we'll have quite a bit less drama than the rest of us will have on that day so the third and fourth you've got good probability of geopolitical events you've got a good chance that those events will include concepts of money um, and I think, you know, it's typical that we see this kind of thing where whether it's one country choosing to fund war in another country, that's the kind of geopolitics that includes the concept of money. Um, and 
whatever's trending on social media and in headlines could be political in nature. Not a shock there. It is an election year, uh, at least in the U.S. So let's see where we go from here. So as we get into March 5th, we maintain a lot of this same base pattern of this uh, two, three, four, five, and then and then seven, eight. So for everyone on the fifth of March, energy is a big factor. And remember, energy is your physical energy. How energetic do you feel? It is your mental energy. It is your time, your money, your attention, and the sense of balance and whether or not you feel balanced in your life. Um, and so on the 5th, everyone across the whole of humanity has manifestations coming into fruition. And what I'm looking at is this 357. Um, so when we have 357, which comes down the diagonal from the top left to the bottom right, that is the era of manifestation. So this is excellent. And what you're manifesting is foundational to your future and this is for everybody across March 5th. Now if you are a ruling one you also have finger of God um, coming into play in what's going on in your world on the 5th that is God consciousness affecting your physical reality. Um, so big stuff big stuff so far Mar March is opening up in a pretty interesting way. Um, so then we start to shift to a little bit different pattern. When we shift into March 6th, we're changing flavors now. March 6th, we have the entire row of information. So March 6th is a very informationally focused day that may make it a good bit less dramatic. Um, but it still is very information focused. Uh, we have the two, the four, and the eight, as we will all year long, bringing us balance, issues of money and attention, and this balance, I don't want to call it a fight, hmm. this polarity between rigidity and stepping out of your comfort zone into what you need to create the foundation for your future. Uh, ruling fives on March 6th have subconscious and control and that element of energy again. Um, so that'll be an interesting day for y'all. Ruling ones, again, God consciousness and control the entire month. Very nice. And uh, ruling sevens will have human consciousness and control on the 6th. Uh, what does that mean for you? It just means you're just going to be much more in your human self. Um, feeling, feeling emotions, feeling human, having human reactions, and that's fine. Be aware of it and then decide to react to that however you choose. Now, as we come into March 7th, now that's an interesting day. I don't care what your ruling number is. You have God consciousness and human consciousness together being bridged by the physical world. Now that is some finger of God stuff right there. Because not only is divine consciousness affecting the physical reality, so is the human consciousness and they're bridging across that. So March 7th, look out for that day. And I'm scanning the rest of the month to see if we have another day like that. We do not. Pay attention to March 7th. I think interesting things are going to happen. Mar as we as we get into oh and side note March 7th ruling fives will have both manifestation and inspiration uh, whereas ruling sixes will have information so as we move into the eighth we get another day that is exactly like the first exact same pattern so the pattern on the 8th and the pattern on the 1st are exactly the same. So whatever your day is like on March 1st, you can expect March 8th to look very similar. Uh, God consciousness and control, foundational things happening in terms of your money and your attention. This could also include your work life because that affects your, your money. Um, and then as we get into 
the 9th, um, we have, I think we had this pattern before, didn't we? No, not this month. Um, we have this kind of split football goal type pattern on the 9th, uh, where the foundational efforts have to do with the balance, the time and attention as it will all year, but also this informational components start coming in, divine information and human awareness of information. Pretty chill. I don't expect, unless you are ruling five, I don't expect March 8th and 9th to be all of that active or, or having terribly much accomplishment for you. It's not holding you back either. It's just not one of those super productive days. And then when we get into the 10th of March, the pattern shifts. We have God consciousness back in control on the 10th foundational things happening in terms of your time money and attention and then we also have the nine in there so you will be well aware of the foundational things are happening it's not it's not big drama and it's funny there can be foundational changes happening in your life and it's not dramatic it's only later when you look back on it and say wow that was a really big important change that happened right there um and you, you just it's just not dramatic at the time it can be a very small shift that makes a big difference later the 11th we have god consciousness still in control as we do for four days in a row from the 10th through the 13th with a focus on energy and and these are usually very nice days this pattern where we have one two three four five and eight um so there's a lot going on in your money world and your attention world but there's not a lot going on necessarily on the world stage. Now, the 12th and the 13th is where the drama comes in again. So dramatic days, the 12th and the 13th. Now, the 12th is an interesting pattern. We have God consciousness and the subconscious sharing control um, with the eight just kind of hanging out over there for finance time and attention so you could see geopolitical things definitely finance um, happening here in your own world this is a beautiful combination for working on yourself for improving yourself so if there is anything that triggers you on these days use it as an opportunity you're well supported in working on you and working through uh, whatever baggage comes up now on the on the 13th we take the five away and we have the finger of god pattern that is one two three four and seven and we have six and eight so this is finger of god creating drama big drama could be positive or negative as relates to time money or attention interesting so that could be an interesting day. That could be geopolitical in nature, but it would definitely involve money um, and your attention to what's going on. And as we keep moving through it, I'm really impressed by the, the lack of overall patterns here in March 2024. This month feels so stochastic. It, it feels almost every day is different. So let's keep going through it. So on the 14th, God consciousness and control, we have the finger of God pattern again. So um, plus energy. So that's a very interesting one. If you're ruling nine on the 14th, you get an extra dose of inspiration. If you're ruling six on the 14th, you get um, subconscious coming in there uh, to share control with God consciousness. So it's an active day, the 14th. It should be a pretty productive day, I expect. We have the, um, the arrow of manifestation for everybody across the whole world uh, and that is exciting to see on the 14th so you'll be getting things done uh, March 15th as we get into the Ides of March 
Uh, we have God consciousness and subconscious sharing control, affecting energy, time, effort, energy, attention, money, and information. Now that's interesting. Now what's interesting on the 15th, and this is for everybody, right? The only thing missing here is the seven. Seven is the number of human material, people and things that people make cars, building, products, infrastructure, vehicles, things like that. So that's an interesting pattern. So people and the things that people make are the only thing that will not be on your mind on the 15th. Hmm. Unless you're a ruling seven. Now, if you're a ruling seven, you have an absolutely full, complete chart. And that is incredibly rare. So you can expect the 15th of March, 2024 to be all the things, but also pretty balanced. That is also gonna be a pretty balanced day for you. So it's not drama sticking out above all else. Uh, for everybody, this is a pretty balanced day. It's a day of inspiration for everyone. And for the ruling sevens, it's a day of manifestation. So really very vibrant, active day on March 15th. On the 16th, um, another interesting pattern, but a little bit different, we take the five away. So it's the ruling fives on the 16th that have a completely filled in grid. Very balanced, very full. This day is all the things very vibrant. So you have God consciousness and human consciousness in control, bridged by not only the physical world, but information. So very finger of God type stuff going on here. And the finger of God pattern continues to March 17th, in which it is affecting one thing and one thing only. And that is your time, attention, and money, which is the eight. Fascinating. And I can't wait to see what kind of financial regulatory happenings go on in March of this year. Well, the whole year, really, but, but in particular March, very cool. Um, on the 17th, if you're a ruling five, you also get manifestation. On the 18th, we go back to this pattern of God consciousness, foundation, uh, foundational things happening in terms of time, money, attention, and human awareness of the information of what's happening. Um, pretty chill, not a necessarily an active day unless you are a ruling five. And we have exactly the same pattern again on the 19th. So the 18th and 19th are exactly the same. However, the 18th goes for you, that's how the 19th is going to go too. Um, then we get to the 20th where we have energy is the big theme, foundation, and little bits of information. And we saw this before, very similar to March 9th. So what's happening on the 20th is similar, little bit similar, not exactly the same, but similar to what happened on the 9th. Um, and so this kind of pattern can be pretty active. On the 20th of March, if you're a ruling one, you have God consciousness and inspiration. If you're a ruling seven, you have manifestation. If you're a ruling six, you get an extra emphasis on information. And then we come into the 21st, there's that. There is that pattern again, where we have God consciousness and the subconscious, and the focus is on energy and this emphasis on the eight again. And where did we see that? The 12th. So the 21st is very much like the 12th. And this tends to happen in months as you get a few repeating patterns. You usually see more repeats than this. But the 21st is a replay of the 12th. And we don't see that pattern again. Um, the 21st and the 12th, as we said before, if you're a ruling nine, you have inspiration and information. If you are a ruling seven, you have manifestation and the finger of God. 
uh, a little bit more than the rest of us this month. So on the 22nd, we repeat the same pattern we saw on the 4th. And that makes sense because 22nd, 2 and 2 is 4. So, uh, so we see this pattern again. So whatever, however the 4th of March goes, you expect the 22nd to be very similar. Ruling 5s will have an opportunity for manifestation on the 22nd, just as on the 4th. Uh, ruling 1s will have God consciousness and control and the finger of God pattern. And ruling 9s will have human consciousness and control and extra information. So this is another drama day. So I expect more drama on the 22nd than I would on the 21st, but I'm not ruling it out on the 21st. But 22nd, definite drama. But the drama that's playing out, again, is foundational. And it may be because of rigidity. Right? So... Four brings both of the elements. So as we're, we're experiencing this polarity and trying to understand when to be rigid and when to step into the future uh, and do the uncomfortable thing, um, it's bringing both here. The rigidity may be what's bringing the drama that forces us to do the uncomfortable thing and step into the future. And that's what I'm seeing here. And we really get, we get peppered with it through this month. Now on the 23rd, manifestation for everybody. Very nice. Focus on energy and what's happening is foundational. So what you are manifesting largely this month when you have that 357 is going to be foundational to your future. So be aware, be careful what you ask for. Be aware of what you're bringing, about what you're building in your life, what you're creating, and what you're manifesting. Ruling ones on the 23rd will continue to have the finger of God pattern. And ruling nines will have human consciousness and control. Um, not a day for geopolitical stuff. On the 24th, Information is the dominant theme. Um, it's not a particularly active day. Probably not a particularly dramatic day. So whatever information that you're focusing on here is not of a shocking nature. It's about balance. It's about that rigidity versus stepping into the future, creating the foundation. It's about your time, attention, and money. And then we get into the 25th, which is another pattern we haven't seen yet this month. We have God consciousness and human consciousness sharing control affecting the physical reality and energy. In fact, the only thing we don't have here is the 6th. So on the 25th of March, the only element missing is 6. No drama. The only thing this day is not bringing. Also, that's going to reduce the amount of information that this day brings. Now, everybody on the 25th of March gets manifestation and inspiration. And that's a very exciting pattern. So I love that. Now, if you're ruling six on the 25th, you have everything. So it's a balanced day. It's a full, vibrant day. This day is all the things. Uh, a great day to do anything for any of us on March 25th. On the 26th, we have God consciousness and control. We have four, eight, and six. So here comes, here comes the drama. And it's a little bit like the eighth, but with an extra shot of drama. Um, I, I would, I just, I really expect a lot of financial headlines and happenings and interesting things. This could be really wonderful and joyous and cool and awesome. Um, or if we're stuck in our rigidity, it, it could be more of the, the unpleasant drama. We'll see where this goes. Uh, on the 27th, we all have human consciousness and control. And that's a little bit of a switch. <clears throat> um, and foundational things are happening in terms of balance and choices. 
uh, and divine information. If you are a ruling five, this is a good day for manifestation on the 27th of March. If you're a ruling six, you have all the information. <laughs> you be very information focused on the 27th. Don't get too stuck in the headlines. And if you're a ruling one, you continue the finger of God pattern on the 27th. When we get to the 28th. And the 28th is, is very much like the 26th and very much like the 8th, <clears throat> but no drama, right? So the foundational things that God consciousness is creating in terms of your time, effort, money, and attention uh, are not big drama, but they are changes that will be felt later. And that later you'll look back and go, oh yeah, that was a really important moment, those things that happened. So then on the 29th, coming into our last few days of March, I see there's this pattern between the 29th and the 30th, right? There's an evolution that, that's building, starts building on the 29th, focus on energy, time, effort, money, actual energy, um, foundational things happening, starting to peak information, but the drama about it doesn't come out until the 30th. Uh, so keep that in mind. For the 29th and 30th, if you are ruling seven, these are great days, two days of manifestation for you. Uh, enjoy and make the most of that. If you are ruling one, you have God consciousness and control and inspiration. So make the most of that. Um, on the 31st, oh, there's that again. Finger of God pattern returns affecting finance and attention and plenty of drama <laughs> so wow <laughs> okay so march is shaping up to be quite the month of where you have finger of god pattern showing up a lot affecting finance and to a lesser extent political geopolitical events but some of that yes but the focus is more on the financial world. But lest ye feel powerless, there's also a considerable amount of inspiration and manifestation available to you this month. And it's, it's peppered in there. It's scattered in there. There's a really a lot of feeling bounced around. Different Every day is different. A different energy is coming every day. So I believe this is just kind of all part of where we're at right now and what we're going through as, as a society right now, as a people, as we try to decide what is right for us. Um, so my best advice would be, and frankly, this is good advice for any situation, is to try to keep your focus internal so that you are responsive rather than reactive Decide what's really important or not important for you in your life. Focus on yourself. Focus on improving yourself. Focus on your peace of mind. Focus on your meditation and your spiritual practices. And when you focus on your projects, just try to cut out the noise. Because there may be a lot of noise out there. There's several high drama days in here. But that drama may or may not directly affect you so don't let it. You can either choose to let that in or you can choose to let it go and let it float by. Um, so an increasingly dramatic month. Oh, wow. All right. Um, as always, if you like what you see here and you want to go more in depth on your own situation, there is a link in the show notes where you can book time with me directly and we can put in your ruling number, your year number, and even the numbers for... Um, any partner or people that you spend significantly large amounts of time with, which is also going to affect how your days go. So that's it for March. Let me know if you like this sort of month view format and if you would like any kind of extended version available uh, for anything in particular. So uh, thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time.